Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do a couple different methods of getting dip powder on my nails. Um, I'm also going to show you some prep. So here is the prep part, um, starting with pushing back my cuticles. Um, I have this Deborah Lipman cuticle pusher. Um, it's like a, I'm trying to show you the name of it there, but it's a little bit of a glare since it's silver. Um, and I really like it because the part that pushes your cuticles back is kind of thin. So you're able to get in all of the edges and your sidewalls. Um, and you're able to just like really push your cuticles down with this thin edge. So I'm starting by pushing down my cuticles and then I'm going to start to use my cuticle bits um, in my with my e-file. I really like the cuticle bits because they just kind of get all of the dead skin um, from around your cuticles without having to kind of like nip your cuticles, which I'm really not good at. So I like the cuticle bit to do the work for me. So the first cuticle bit that I'm going to be using um, is a little bit... Um, like pointed, it's just got this nice shape to it where I can kind of get on my nail plate. Right here, I actually I have a little bit of product still left on my nail, so I'm just kind of grinding it down a little bit with the bit, and then I'm just going to go around my cuticles. Um, I like this one mainly for the nail plate because it's got a good shape to it. Um, it kind of goes flat, so. I'm going to do this for all my nails and then I'll be back when I start with the next cuticle bit. So I'm back and the next bit that I'm using um, is a newer cuticle bit that I have. It is kind of pointed on one end and it's really small, um, like a cylinder on the other. So what I like to do with this one is I like to go around and just kind of push back my cuticles a little bit more. Um, you can see I'm trying to get the product off a little bit there, but it, it comes off with the next bit that I use, the ball bit. But um, this bit is nice because it's kind of pointed and you can really get around the edges. Um, I like to do multiple bits when I'm doing my cuticles because each one kind of seems like it does something a little bit different. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it. So that's why I do it. So I'm going to just go around each cuticle with this bit and then I will be back when I'm ready to use the ball bit. Alright, I'm back and I'm using the ball bit. Uh, this one's really awesome. Definitely one of my favorites. And this one works the most, the best. So, I love using this one. Sometimes I'll alternate and I will push some cuticle down and then use this and then push some cuticle down. Uh, but you can see because of like the dust that's coming off of my cuticle that it's really working. And this has been honestly a huge game changer in my nail game. Being able to get down to the cuticle, it doesn't hurt at all and it doesn't hurt my cuticles. I still have cuticles live tissue, I believe. So um, I really do like using this bit. I think it's pretty gentle. So now I'm just gonna dust off 
And now I'm going to take a look at the cuticles and see if they need any more work. So uh, I'm just going in one more time. After I dust it off, I was able to see that I missed a little bit. And I'm taking that ball bit and I'm just going around one more time. So doing that very quickly. And then just taking some of the shine off my nails, making sure there's no products, lightly buffing each nail. So uh, now at this point my prep is over and I'm ready to start with my bond. So this is a nail dehydrator and what this will do is make sure that everything is nice and dry and it helps to prevent lifting. So that's one of the things that I've been trying to master is not having any lifting. So each time I do my nails, I try to, to do a new technique or make sure that there's no lifting. So um, putting the bond on and I'm gonna do another coat of bond um, just because I felt like my nails could be just slightly more dehydrated before I start the application. And then I'm just wiping off just to make sure there's no more cuticle dust on my nails at all whatsoever because I want to have a nice clean slate for my dip powder. So I'm using my Manny Mix liquids for this application and I'm going to put on the Manny Mix base and then dip into my powder. Um, I'm using Kiara Sky Hot Dam as the powder. It's like a really pretty red, but it kind of has like a bright pinkness to it. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, yeah, so it's called Hot Dam. It should be called Hot Dam Mess because <laughs> everything I touched turned a, a like shade of red or pink. So literally anything I touched, my own hand, the finger stand, um, really had very, very red hands after this. So the, this method that I'm showing you here is the pipette method. This I was very comfortable with in the beginning because I wasn't able to dip my finger into the jar at the right angle. And I feel like this gave me the coverage that I was looking for without having to dip my finger in. So um, that's the second method that I'm showing. The first one was just a dipping your finger in at the 45 degree angle. Second method was the pipette method. And then the third method I'm going to show you is just the pour over method. So this is also a really easy way to get the powder onto your nails. So if you are struggling with getting it even um, and having like a thin layer of powder on your nails, I suggest either the pipette method or the pour over method. Um, so since I've started to get better at dipping my finger into the powder, I'm going to continue on with the dip method um, for the rest of the application. So I'm going to do two dips of the powder and I will be back.
can really see how much of a mess it is. Everything is red, the brush is red, anything I touched was red, and it was not coming off. And this is a really stiff brush. So this was the first time I ever used such a pigmented powder like this. I learned after this um, that basically you can just use alcohol and get the powder off your hands. Did not know that. I thought that my hands were going to be stained forever. It looked like I killed someone. So um, I didn't quite love the application on my pointer finger, so I just went in for another dip on that finger just to clear off like a little, to fill in really a little gap that I saw that was not red enough. Believe it or not, because everything is red. It's crazy. All right, um, so after this, I am getting that red powder out of the way. Um, I don't know if I'll ever open it again. <laughs> it was such a mess. Um, I'm learning that about certain powders. Anyway, I'm now going to do clear, um, a layer of clear, but I'm gonna do the pour over method because I don't wanna put my red fingers in my clear jar because it is a hot mess. So I'm gonna use my little Kiara Sky, uh, I guess it's a, a recycling system to put the clear on my nails. Uh, the brush was very red, everything was red. And then um, I'll be back. Okay, so once I was done with clear capping all of my nails with the clear powder, I'm now activating um, and then I'm going to wait two minutes and I'm going to file and buff off camera um, and then I'm also going to do my other hand. So um, I will just do two coats of this activator and then I will be back when it is time to clear coat. and. By that time, I had figured out you can remove the red with the alcohol pad. So after that, I figured out how to get the red off of everything else that I had touched during this whole process. Um, so now I'm back and I had activated and removed all of the red from my nails. Um, on my right hand, I did an application and I also put on, I think, two coats of the top uh, already. And now I'm just going to do the top coat for my left hand. Um, so I really like um, the Manny Mix directions where it says to do three coats. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I think it just gives the nails like an extra layer of shine. So this is my first coat and I'm trying to do it very quickly. I have yet to master this, but um, you can see I'm just trying to do like two or three quick strokes of the first coat and I am wiping my brush off before putting it back into the dip jar every single time. 
then I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then come back in for the second coat. So you can do it pretty much immediately after you're done the first coat once you start to see the little lines form. Um, and then I go in for the second coat. This one I sped up, but I am being a little bit more deliberate with the coating and I'm taking my time a little bit more. Um, once I am done with this coat, I go ahead and finish the third coat on my right hand and then I go back in for the last coat on my left hand. Um, and then they each have three coats and are ready to dry so then I can put on my cuticle oil. So I will just let you watch the rest of the coats being put onto my hands and then once they're dry I'll be back. So both my hands have had time to dry off camera obviously wouldn't want you to sit through that and I'm going to be using my candy skincare cuticle oil in the scent love spell I'm sorry sweet spells <laughs> and it smells like love spell from Victoria's Secret I absolutely love it I am basically obsessed with it um, and I like to put it on my nails every few hours I uh, really just kind of helps my cuticles, I swear it makes my nails grow and it makes my hands really soft. So I like to rub it in and then I'm good to go. Um, the wine that I am drinking tonight is a Vino Verde. It really, it's the same night that I did my last video. So I'm just gonna show you my cute rose glass and thanks for watching.